Australia are on the cusp of making the knockout stage. Ever since the groups were announced, this is where they wanted to be, and indeed felt they ought to be. There is a sense of genuine fear to hear the loyal supporters hope it is all going to be wrapped up in the next couple of hours. Three points will guarantee that they get their wish. Here's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world does have a distinctive feel and we rise now for the Danish national anthem got the juices flowing and now this Terrific sight here, and it goes to underline just how far this game could go towards shaping the fortunes of the team. Well, if they can't find the motivation required for this, they might as well pack it in, Peter. This is the type of defining game that can propel the status of the whole club into the kind of territory where it needs to, to take its game. While individual careers may be helped with good performances, this has to be about the collective. If that remains strong, everything else should fall nicely into place. So it's away we go then. Decent looking ball. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Boy with the short one. Clearance and very necessary. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Forward it goes. Lecky. Hoists it forward. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Lecky breaks on here. It's one goal, France, and France are in front. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. 
two turns. Breaks on here. He's got away. Ericsson tries to get it forward quickly. Delaney. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position. And they had him where they wanted. Yet somehow he's worked the scoring position, but it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business. Kia. Christensen goes looking. Hoiberg. Australia need a win here to make it through. Lovely bit of skill. It's Hoiberg. How about a shot? Big chance! Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. And now the breakaway. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out muscled. Hoiberg. Kawi. It could be a Griezmann! Goal! France! And again they hit the front. Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. Drives it forward. Luongo. Lecky. Great run on the overlap here. Goes to the cross. Cleared without complication. Poulsen. Hoists it high. He's got options out wide. Keeps everyone guessing. Looking for a decent ball in. Chance! And it's Ericsson. Hoiberg. Ericsson! Goal! Denmark! First blood drawn. Contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Is it just me, or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure for him. Finish with such a bomb. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, look, you've got to start your qualification process at some stage, Peter, and, and that goal is takeoff for them. Moy. Moy. 
Mala. And it's played forward. He's left his man. It's gone a long way up and away. Whipped it again. Oh, good interception. Marla. Marla goes on a charge down the left. Gets and the finish! There is the half time whistle. There we are. Up they go for half time. Brentford did indeed come in the first half. Only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. We're into the last 45 minutes in this game of substantial significance. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for fortune favouring the brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk taking to get this match turned around. It's very difficult. That's a hit! Quickly. A real chance to break. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Ericsson. Ericsson drives it forward. He's had a shot! Really well taken goal. And there's the goal they've been looking for. Denmark are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attack on heaven. So that's two now without reply. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Hoiberg. Out to the left it goes. Now it's Ericsson, and it's got through. Knocks it away. He's had a goal! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. He simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Moy. Rogic. It's on the back foot. Hoists it forward. He's through. Well positioned to make that interception. Christensen. And it's played forward. Goes long. And he's there to clear it. Got out of play. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Here it comes. Cleared away. And that's been one straight back. Receives it from behind. 
referee's awarded a free kick. And he has shown him a yellow card. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. And it's hoisted clear. Beautifully done. He could be in. Goes for it! Just whacks it away. Moy. Another corner then. Christensen is there, and he can get that clear. Kings it out wide. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Nicely done. is threatening to become a really good game. I think they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over-eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. A really good feat from him. A hefty challenge, but fair enough. Delaney spreads it towards the left. Gets the better of his man. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Looks to clip it forward. Australia have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Ericsson gets it back. All shows there will be three extra minutes. We are into stoppage time. Varane positions himself well and cuts it out. Ah, oh, he's given it. Slitty! It's in! We thought it was over. It's all square once more. Pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Ah, oh, Peter, that was just a, a defensive act of generosity that was always going to... Uh, have a painful ending. <laughs> Ma 
Mahler. Mahler. He's on a run down the left wing. Looking for space out wide. A chance to play it in. He's gone for it! And that has been clubbed away. Australia are out. The worst possible outcome. They barely got going, and now, at the earliest opportunity, they are going out. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, Peter, the truth is they haven't been good enough to progress. The table doesn't tell lies.